Hello sports fans, are you ready for some baseball? Well, I don't care whether you are or not, because it's baseball time once again, and uh, Bulldozer Power are hoping to bounce back from their drubbing that they took last week, uh, dropping them to a 5-1 and one record in the season so far. This week we're taking on the Eagles, uh, starting their pitching will be uh, Chestley Marino, I'm sure he will, uh, and then we'll be looking out for the, uh, the powerhouses of Carlton Klopp and Lowbrow. Uh, once we get into the game itself, uh, let's uh, let's crack on. So, taking a quick look at our starting roster here, we'll see that uh, the Hookers and uh, Mori are both a little bit worse for wear, and uh, and Blackencout, our starting pitcher, isn't exactly looking like he's in the peak of form. Uh, so, we might actually make a substitution. I don't really want to take Hookers off. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, all right. No, no, we're going to rest up Hookers. Who have we got here? Uh, right. Well, we've got uh, Jemima Hertz. No, out of position. Well, let's find someone who's in position. Uh, okay, Bernard Dunk. Uh, you can you can come and see if you're made of anything. We'll we'll give uh, we'll give Hookers a, a game off and see how uh, see how he gets on with that. Uh, Maury's looking uh, a little strained, uh, so we're going to drop him from the team lineup as well. Who's my backup catcher? Uh, Trace Attitude. Not as good a player as far as the stats are concerned, uh, but she is at least fit. So we'll uh, we'll bring her on as well. And uh, as far as uh, Blackencout is concerned, he really isn't going to perform well. So uh, so we're gonna we're gonna drop him out in place of I don't know Hicks Alpha is also next up in rotation. Uh, Mr. Featon played recently. Um, Fuegas is rattled. Well, I would imagine so after getting lit up in the last game. So uh, we'll start Hicks Alpha, who is it? Who is next up in the rotation anyway, and uh, we'll drop Black and Cal back in. Meanwhile, uh, I don't really want to lose uh, the hitting power that uh, that was brought at second at bat. So I'm going to, because losing hookers there is a is is not ideal. So I think I'm going to bring up. Uh, where is he? There we go, Lee. Who? Uh, we're going to swap your position with uh, with dunk there we go yes positions position swap with no 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 i don't want you playing first base oh rat batting order right button okay there you go like that yeah that's what we want is it what have we done oh we just moved no there go there you batting order head down to the bottom of the batting order Yes! Good! Let's play baseball! So it's a beautiful evening for a round of rounders, and uh, that's what we're going to play. Um, and uh, I've dropped the difficulty by 5. Uh, we have been increasing by 10. I've dropped it by 5 because the, uh, the previous game uh, to the uh, thrashing that I took, uh, we'd done ra re really rather well. Uh, so, uh, my thinking is that by putting it at the halfway house, something could be uh, accomplished. Uh, this is uh, Adelmo Redia, the left fielder, uh, who is going to be our, uh, our first victim of the day, uh, depending on how Hicks Alpha gets on. Let's have a look. Oh, well, wow, that's, that's gone a long way. It's okay, we're, we're not overly concerned. Throw that one to a base, will you? Oh dear, we haven't thrown it to... Uh... He made a triple off that one. Well, I'm sure that's not a portent of things to come. It wasn't a very good pitch, though. Ah, uh, so we'll, we'll just have to... We'll have to spice things up a little better. Let's, uh, let's go spicy with this one. That's better. Ball one. And that one's gone reasonably well. We'll throw that one straight to second. And that's a run in. That's okay. The fielding was, was adequate. The, the pitching is, uh, is not quite on mark uh, just yet. Uh, let's, uh, let's try this on for size. And... Out at centre field. Car face underneath it. Everything's gorgeous. Now batting. Number 15. Right this is ply your moggins, uh, which is one thing that you can do to your moggins, uh, whether whether you would choose to or not. Who really knows? Uh, let's put this about here. 
or not, as the case may be. Strike one. Finally a strike. Strike two. Oh, this is looking promising. Uh, is Hicks Alpha going to get his first at-plate at strikeout? No. Bam Bam dives for it. Couldn't quite get there in time. That's uh, two runners on base as we, uh, as we now look at uh, Philip Jock. Okay, well, we managed to throw a couple of strikes there. That's something. That one's gone way up in the air. And Sonny Watts underneath it, and you're out, pal. Go on. Now batting, number 26, the first baseman. Uh, Tilly Handspring, who's, uh, who's pulling the pistols there in her baseball card. Ah, uh, one was inside. Deliberately, I, I hasten to add. It would have been a good one to, uh, to not be quite so deliberate about. She's got that. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, oh, flipping it. Oh, well, we can only blame whoever it is that's in control of the, uh, the fielding. Yeah, that's an error as well. Uh, well, that's all gone superbly as another two no, runs are, uh, are knocked in there. The but that's okay. It always takes a little while for Bulldozer Power to get up to their uh, full uh, magnificence, uh, such as it is. That one's all over the shop. Oh, that one's even worse. Yeah, that one was uh, that was cricket. That's more like it. Oh, come off it! That looked fairly legit. All right, we've walked someone. Uh, Hicks Alpha there, uh, not exactly delivering the uh, the utmost pitching uh, splendidness. Strike one made him swing at that one a bit late. Uh, let's uh, let's try the old fastball here. Ball one. Okay, that's another that's another hit there, and uh, we're we're off to a very poor start. Uh, we've got two outs. It would be good. This is the pitcher. If we can't deal with the pitcher at the plate, uh, then frankly, I'm going home. Oh why, oh why? Just throw it to first. We only needed one out. And uh, he's, uh, he's readier again. He's, uh, he's going he's gonna to do something clever, I'm sure. This could be a Grand Slam moment for him if he, uh, if he plays his cards right. Not that I want to, you know, influence such things. No, he's popped that one up. Uh, looks like Bam Bam might get there. She does. That's the side retired. Uh, but not before they knocked in four runs, which is, which is not exactly what we're looking for here. Now batting, number 32, the right fielder. However, if Bulldozer Power can stick to their game plan and uh, and and uh, take care of business, then uh, then all is well. His failure. Eh, has he got the speed? That's a no. Now batting, number thirty, the first baseman. His uh, Lee Hu in his new high pressure uh, second at bat roll. That's a ball. We're going to play our standard game of soaking up some pitches. Uh, as much as it might be quite predictable. Swing, don't swing, don't swing late. Oh, you muppet. Um, right, well, that's uh, Lee Hu there going for a bit of a sit down. And uh, it falls to Bam Bam Puckai to salvage something from this first innings. Seriously. Well, she hit it. It's not going to help, though, and she's out as well. Well, at least it was quick. Uh, so, mercifully, Bulldozer Power there out for no hits uh, at the end of the first inning. And we're going to need to uh, dig deep to pull out some kind of pitching performance here that is going to uh, elevate the team. No, that didn't work. Uh, from uh, the uh, incredibly lacklustre opening performance of the day. Now batting, number four, the catcher. Here comes Ben Burr. He was caught the first time round, so uh, you never know. Maybe uh, maybe our luck will change. Someone's gone for it. Oh, what are you playing at? Throw it to first! Well, we had all day to get that, so that was partially fortunate. Here's Ply Your Moggins. Uh, and uh, that's just one of the things that you can do to your Moggins. That one's popped up. Bam Bam's there. Is she? She looks like she is. And that's the second out. That's more a bit more like it. 
Uh, if we can't get strikeouts, then uh, we can at least get uh, nice, easy catches that uh, even I can't fail to uh, do something with. That one's gone wide. I'd like to say it was on purpose, but it wasn't. Oh, that was lovely. Uh, and, uh, and it told me that he anticipated a curveball there. Strike two. He didn't anticipate that. Smarty pants. That's a little on the low side. And that's going to be out. It's not going to be out. Oh, he hit it at, uh, at such low velocity that we didn't manage to get to it in time. At least I threw it to the right base. That's, you know, that's unusual. Strike one. That one's gone foul. Strike two. Please, please, please let the change-up trick work. Oh, well, it, it hasn't really worked, uh, but uh, it's out. So that's the side retired. No further damage done. Uh, Bulldozer continued to trail four to nothing. Um, but uh, with every new inning, there is a new opportunity. And here comes Ninja Pumpkin. Everything to prove. Uh, is he going to get this done? Don't swing at it. Good boy. Swung at that one, though. And uh, he's put his name on it. Yep, that one's got into the top of the stand. It would have been nice if someone else was on base, but Ninja Pumpkin there getting it done. Uh, silencing his critics, at least for now. Uh, well, at least until his next at bat. Chest bump, bit of a dab, excellent work. Uh, pointing to the stands there is, uh, is Carface. Uh, let's see if he's managed to get any form back in his uh, whatever it is that he does. Strike one. Well, he got, a, he got a nice big chunk of that one. Ball one. Oh, dear. Oh, I decided too late to have a swing at that one, and Carface goes for a sit down in the flipping hatch. Well, taking no chances on that, we, uh, we spanked it good. Um, we spanked it good and foul, that's for, that's for sure. Sonny Watt gets it away, but he's going to get run out to third, fur, fur, first. Yes, that's the base that he was running to there, and he's out. Here's Trace Attitude. Uh, let's see what kind of attitude she's bringing to the party. Trace has got a run type of attitude. Uh, coming off the bench to do a sterling job and get on first base. Now batting number 26, the left fielder. Bernard Dunk. Uh, he's looking keen, looking fierce. Don't, don't swing at that, Bernard. Too keen, too fierce. He's, uh, well, yeah, that happened, but he's out. And that's the side retired again. Uh, the, uh, the home run being the one high point for Bulldozer Power in that inning. Uh, but they have narrowed their, their deficit to just three runs. You say just three runs, we've scored one so far. Uh, it's, uh, it's hardly making it likely we're going to... Uh, light the field up anytime soon strike one beautiful sinking curve ball there that one's gone high and left and out of the park uh, that one almost landed in the luxury wine bar uh, which would have uh, potentially upset the diners uh, who are up there this evening um, enjoying as they do uh, their champagne cocktails now batting number six the second baseman. It's Flapjack Bonventra, uh, and, uh, who uh, probably doesn't pronounce his name that way. Probably pronounces it Flipjack. He swung at that. The pitcher missed it. Bam Bam's got it. Throws it to first, but it's uh, too little too late. Uh, pitcher with a stingy hand as a result of that one. That's why we wear a glove. That's looking promising. Double play. Boom. Yes. Now batting, number 32, the left. You, can, you can take that one and smear jam on it. Uh, right. Okay. Who's up next? This is uh, Adelmo Redier, who is having a, uh, a Redier of a day. Whatever that might mean. You're out, mate. Pitcher takes all day to throw it, but he does it anyway, and, uh, and that's a result. Arguably the kind of result that we should have been looking for from the get-go, but uh, but that's more like it. Here's Hicks Alpha, and he looks terrified. Pitcher. 
he doesn't give a monkeys. He swings at the first one. He's got a chance. No, he hasn't. Now batting, number 32, the right field. Here comes failure. A disappointing first at bat. What can he do this time? To his signature centre field, and uh, failure gets on base and not for the first time this season. Now batting, number 30, the first baseman. Here's Lee Hu. He's looking focused. He's looking sharp. No, he's not. He's looking like he's swinging at any old rubbish. Don't, 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 don't. There we go. It's a ball. So's that. That's more like it. That one was a strike, though. You could have, you could have had a go at that one. That one was a bit low, but he hit it foul. Yeah, it's now all to play for. Lee Hu gets a piece of it. It's going a reasonably long way. Makes it to the fence. We're going again. It's a gamble. Going for two. And the team make it in. Beautiful work, Lee Hu, uh, with a double there. Number 24, the shortstop. Here's Bam Bam. What does she think? She thinks that one's very high. That's what she thinks. Well, she got a good connection. Nice and clean, but nothing doing. That one, however, straight up midfield. Bam Bam's drought is over for the time being, and that's a run in for Bulldozer Power. Uh, runners now on first and third. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. Uh, he's feeling full of the joys of spring as a result of his home run at his first at-bat. That one, not, not quite a home run, but there's a run in. No one's out. Oh, making him look stupid. Uh, it's like a bulldozer power fielding practice out there. What a terrible decision to make. Here's Carface. He'll be hoping to make up for his first inning at-bat, but he won't be doing it like that. That has the possibility. It's a home run, hit the top of the fence, but that's three runs in. Wilbur Carface is back in business, and he says, Yes, sirree, Bob, if that is indeed your name. I am Wilbur Carface. This is Bulldozer Power. We mean business. Number 13, the second base. Sonny Watt says, No gov. Sonny Watt says, you must be having a giraffe. Sonny Watt says, oops, I left that one a bit late. Strike two. Really? Possibly. It was on the fence about leaving that one. He's not leaving that one, though, but it hasn't got the legs. It's, uh, it's up in the air for quite a while. Maybe a seagull will save him. But no, it was not to be. Here's Trace Attitude. And uh, those sunglasses certainly say attitude to me. Oh, that was rubbish. No, that was that was too high, Trace. You could have left it. Uh, but the bases were empty. Uh, but that's Bulldozer Power pulling ahead there at the bottom of the third inning. Exciting times. Now batting number 21, the third base. Here's Ace Carlton. She's got two singles so far today. Uh, and uh, Hicks Alpha, starting to, his, his uh, pace is starting to fade a little bit, but we'll see what he's still got in him. That one's gone high to centre field, but Carface looks confident. And that's a good catch there. Now back, number four, the catcher. Ben Burr, he may look quite impressive, but he's been rubbish so far today. All right, I shouldn't have said that as that one heads out to a difficult position on the field. Uh, they had a quick conversation before throwing it back to third, and uh, that's a double there for Ben Burr, who gets his scoring going for today. Well, his hits, at least. Maybe not scoring, because nothing was scored there. You know what I mean. Ball one. There you go, the crowd voicing their disapproval at that first umpire call there, but uh, certainly likes the next one. Uh, that one's got a centre field. The runner didn't quite have the guts to try and go for home there, which is which is unfortunate because we'd we'd have gotten. They'd have been they'd have been had. They'd have been uh, taken to school. Dropped off without a packed lunch. Uh, that one's been popped up. Uh, Sonny Watts underneath it. 
Sit down. Now batting, number 26, the first baseman. Here's Tilly and her handsprings. Uh, let's see what kind of action she can get out of them. Let's uh, let's put this right down here. Yep, terrible pitch. Yeah, that one wasn't exactly brilliant either. I am rather fond of the old curveball. Uh, but then again, uh, we've we've generated another pop up there. Uh, Bam Bam has run well out of her uh, her designated marking zone uh, in order to get underneath that one, but that has got the job done. Side retired for no further hits. Uh, well, no no further runs. They had a couple of hits, but we're not bothered. Here's Bernard Dunk. Oh, nice jumping catch there. Unfortunate, because uh, Bernard smacked that one quite pleasantly. Here's Hicks Alpha. Nothing to prove, nothing to lose. Come off it. Oh, dear. And I guess that's why he's a pitcher. Hicks Alpha there, stomping back to the dugout, having achieved nothing at all. Here comes failure, and, uh, well, he's got nothing to do. We're on two outs here, so, I mean, whatever happens. there And there it is, the, the failure to centre field slap, uh, as it is known in the programme. Now batting, number 30, the first baseman. We encourage people to do a little dance. Oh, Lee, you're such a disappointment to me. And that's Lee Hu there. Uh, getting the side retired for no runs, uh, but it's all still to play for because Bulldozer Power are no ahead. Batting. Number 23, the center fielder. Withers Lowbrow. And he's put that one foul. That's ball one. You think that was a bit wide? Oh, I think so, possibly, might have been, you never know. Strike two. And that's good enough to get him run out to first. Mission accomplished, job done. Number six, the second baseman. Here's Flipjik Bonventra. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what he's feeling like today. Uh, okay, we, we, we threw some rubbish at that. A little early on the dive, uh, but uh, that'll be enough to get him to first. Now batting number 22. Here's the pitcher, Chesley Marino. Uh, and uh, so far he hasn't hit a damn thing, so uh, maybe, we can, uh, maybe we can get him. Ball one. Strike one. No ball on that one, although it was uh, it was very close. But as we've already established, the ref can't judge a fair pitch from a foul one if his life depended on it. That one's gone foul as well. Full counts. That one's also gone foul. More than full count. Our count runneth over. And that's a strikeout. Hicks Alpha will be jolly pleased with that. And there we go. A minor little celebratory fist manoeuvre. Uh, which is uh, something that we all do from time to time. Uh, this is, uh, is that joker ready, eh? Uh, Hicks is starting to look a little bit peaky now. He let that one go. But that's out three. Hicks Alpha, I think, will be, uh, will be taking the bench after that inning. Uh, he's uh, he's got it done so far, but it's time to bring on some fresh arm. Now batting number twenty-four, the shortstop. It's Bam Bam Puckeye. No. If she lights this one up, it'll be the sound of cash registers. As uh, all new posters are being no, she's popped that one up well and proper. Catcher looks like they're underneath it, and that's uh, the end of Bam Bam. No uh, no cash now registers for you today. Here's Ninja Pumpkin. He's having a hell of a day so far. Okay, not with that attitude, he isn't. Strike one, ball one. That one's gone foul. Strike two. That was not a strike. I don't know where your strike zones live there, ump, but uh, no. 
I don't buy it. Here's Wilbur Carface. Wilbur doesn't give a monkeys. He knows he's got nothing to do in this innings, really, so he just gets himself out immediately. And that's uh, that's the end of that inning as well. So it's now been uh, four straight sets of at-bat with no score. Uh, this is uh, proving to be something of a defensive, no something Number or other. 21, the third and uh, we're going to be dropping Hicks Alpha out. He's done the damage. He's, uh, he's got it done so far, but uh, he's, had he's had enough for today. Uh, right, Sally, Ry Sally Rhythm's not, can't possibly be up in the, uh, uh, in the, 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 I don't know, rotation. That's what they say. Uh, Jeff Conservative, he did well for us last time. We'll, uh, we'll try him out and see how he gets on. Starting with a change up. Strike one. This is an ungainly angle from which to pitch. And uh, Jeff gets it done. That's one out. Now back, number four, the catcher. Here's the incredibly intimidating Ben Burr. Uh, we should be uh, completely terrified of Ben Burr. He is an amazing baseball player. Never makes a mistake. Certainly doesn't swing at bad pitches. Uh, and, uh, you know, we are all terribly afeard of him. That should remove the jinx. Well, it's done enough to get him out at first. That's out number two. Now back, number 15, the right field. Here's your Moggins, and, uh, and we're not going to give him the time of day. Right. Well, for some reason, he swung at that. What a burk. That's uh, strike two. Can we deliver something decimating? Yes. No. Fouled. Uh, let's try something like that. Ball one. Come on, get him at the plate. Get him at the plate. Uh, it doesn't really matter that we didn't get him at the plate. We're going to get him at first, and that's the side retired. Uh, a beautiful defensive job there by Bulldozer Power, uh, getting that side out in relatively short order. Uh, there's some salty-looking dudes up in the wine bar. Uh, they're all having a miserable evening. Uh, time for great introspection and scowling. Now batting, number 13, the second baseman. Here comes the sunny what? Do-do-do-do. He decided to swing at that uh, rather late in the day. That's ball one. And that one, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, yes, I do. And Sonny Watt is, uh, is out now running to first. The There's Trace and her attitude. Trace and the spanking the ball right up to midfield. But again, I don't... Never mind. Now batting number 26, the left field. Bernard Dunk wiggling his fingers. He means it. Oh. Well, that was quick. Uh, well, you know, there we go. Um, yeah, that's the, the side retired. And that's now six straight inning uh, with, uh, with no score. Now batting number 47, the shortstop. Here's Philip Jock. Sends a floaty ball down as the first pitch. Strike one right in the corner. That one's gone into the crowd. And it's a foul ball. That's strike two. Uh, everything to play for here. Swoosh. You're gone. And uh, Jeff gets himself a rather magnificent strikeout there. Here's Tilly Handspringer. Really? Where are you throwing that? Into the dirt. Where you belong. Straight at the batter, show him who's boss. No, no, you, whatever you were doing there, uh, Pumpkin, was wrong. Throw that to uh, second any time you really feel like it. Well, it's been a little while since we had a, a fielding error there from Bulldozer Power, so I suppose we were overdue. His, uh, his lowbrow. 
with his magnificent chin curtain. Strike one. And that one's gone foul. Strike two. Nah, let's try him on one of these. Ball two. Ball three. Full count. Jeff, get this one in the strike zone, son. Popped it up. Get underneath it. Oh, come on. You could have had that, you bone idle catcher. I mean, I know catchers have a difficult time getting up out of their uh, stance. Oh, we walked him, look. Ah, that's there. Oh, yeah. Completely threw the game plan off there. And we've got to, we've got to throw some more balls. Or fewer balls, in fact, if we don't want to walk. Well, okay, you shouldn't have swung at that, but uh, there you go. Strike one. He left that one alone. Strike two. Ball one. <laughs> yeah, I should say so. Uh, ball two. No, no one can be bothered to dive today, huh? Uh, they're going for home. And that's tied the game up six to six. Here's Chesley Marino, who somehow hasn't been there. Oh, never mind. There we go. Here's the substitution. Uh, it's Honza Klopp that's coming on. Honza, yes. Not Hansa, no. Hansa, you'd go, oh yeah, that's a, that's a sensible name. No, this is Honza Klopp. And that one's gone wide left. That one's gone up to centre field. Might be good enough to get another run in. Puck on the throw. No, it's a bit slow there. And uh, that's another that's another run. And uh, we're bringing in a pinch runner here. Uh, Honza is uh, is now departing the field in favour of uh, Gunter Crush. I'm not entirely sure what the logic is behind that, but I'm sure uh, that this Eagles team have a plan. Uh, whether the plan's any good or not, time will tell. That's one out. Well, we got the runner to third, which potentially defends against the run. Um, but uh, nothing, nothing good of this is if Ace Carlton can light the ball up in the way that she has been doing so far in this game. That's ball one. A, a good dive, but a bit late. And that loads the bases. Uh, everything to do with two outs now. And, uh, and Jeff Conservative has to be feeling uh, the pressure on him right now. Uh, the pressure on Ben Burr is extraordinary. But he's a big lad and he can take care of himself. Puck Eye dives for it, doesn't get there in time. That's going to get an awful lot of runs in as it splits the fielders. And it uh, looks like we could get three runs in here. And that's bad news for Bulldozer Power. Now batting, number 15, the right fielder. Uh, ball one. Well, uh, the, the ball as a power fielders aren't afraid to dive anymore. Sadly, they are uh, completely ineffective when they do so. Ball two. <laughs> ah, that is the worst piece of fielding this commentator has seen in quite some time as uh, Bam Bam Puckai dives over the top of the ball. Uh, beautiful work. Uh, would you please focus there, team? Let's, uh, let's, let's try and just get this side out. Uh, Jeff's starting to look uh, incredibly tired. That's ball one. And he's only, he's only he's made 41 pitches already. Ball two. You're not going to get them out by just throwing balls there, Jeff. And uh, that's another that's a base stolen there. Uh, I'm going to report that one to Crime Stoppers. This should do it. Don't take any chances. Throw it at first, get the side out. Thank goodness for that. Um, but the damage is most definitely done as uh, the Eagles record six runs in that inning and, uh, and bulldozer power after the, uh, the seventh inning stretch. In fact, I'm cancelling the seventh inning stretch. They don't deserve it. Uh, they need now to get some flipping runs in. Jeff, get off. 
Uh, we're going to take Jeff off, and uh, in a pinch hitting, uh, we're going to bring Bam Bam Flipping Hookers. Uh, ba ba since when was his name Bam Bam? B Jack Hookers, as well you know. And he gets the job done immediately with a nice line drive there up to centre field. Now batting, number 32, the right field. His failure. He's having a reasonable day, but he's uh, he needs to contribute a little more. That one was a bit wide there, Chief. That one wasn't wide, but he hit it foul. One and one is the count. Oh, you total wally. Uh, and failures run out to first. Now batting, number 30, the first baseman. Here comes Lee Hu. He's not really lived up to his position as uh, a second at bat. Uh, strike one. Strike two. Now batting, not even worthy of comment. That's what I think of that, Lee. You're going back to the bottom of the order. Uh, Bam Bam slugs that one away. She's uh, stuck that one in the crowd as well. Batting practices on Thursdays. Uh, Bam Bam, uh, maybe you would like to turn up for it next week. Right, we need another pitcher. Who have we got here? Uh, Cattle Prod. Uh, he appears to be uh, mood neutral. And we need... Uh, a pitcher to save us from uh, what would be a terrible defeat. That is not the best place to start. Although we're underneath it, uh, Carface getting it done there at centre field. Here's Lowbrow. Strike one. Very nice. Ball one, just inside. Strike two, and I'll tell you something, uh, Cattle Prod's doing a very good job keeping them guessing, given that he's only got two pitches in his arsenal. That one's popped up. Someone get under it. Thank you. Pumpkin gets that one, and uh, that's two outs. Is Bon Ventra. He's four for four today. Uh, this could prove to be a tough nut to crack. Come on, Bam Bam. Oh, for the love of God. Just will you, for once, get underneath the ball and uh, make a play. Now batting, number 48, the pitcher. That one's gone foul. Strike two. And that's strike three with a fine, fine curveball getting the job done. And uh, and Cattle Prod will be mighty pleased with that. Uh, we still need five runs to tie this one up, though. And here comes Ninja Pumpkin. No, 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 out. Now back, number 11, the center field. Carface has one hit today and it was a home run. I don't know what he's doing swinging at that one, though. Or that one. Or that one, and uh, Carface is retired. Uh, could be that nerves are getting to the team knowing that the game is on the line with only two innings left to play. Here's Sonny Watts. Now, Sonny has a tendency to not swing at anything. Uh, there's an error, but it's not going to be enough. And that's the side retired. Uh, and uh, and things are looking bleak for Bulldozer Power. But if we can uh, at least make a, a defensive stand here, maybe they can turn it around. That one's popped up. Someone get under it. Anyone? Thank you. Sonny Watt catches that one. That's one out. Number 21, the third baseman. Uh, that one is also looking promising as, uh, I, I forget who his name is, he's a substitute, so, you know, but he caught it anyway, so well played, job done, good good effort. Is uh, Ben Burr rapidly turning into a bogey player for us here? And that one has not got the distance, uh, Carface is going to have it. 
and he's out. That's the side retired in three pitches. Uh, magnificent stuff. It might have been four pitches, uh, but uh, I, I, I lost count. Everything to do. The catcher. Bulldozer power. Life on the line. Takes the first ball. That's okay. Takes a swing at that one. Went a bit, uh, went a bit wide. Allegedly, that was another strike. I've been caught out by those all day, and uh, and frankly, this pitcher has uh, has got my number. Despite the fact it's a different pitcher to the one who had my number at the start of the game, but that's actually a hit, uh, and that's not a bad place to start. Now batting, number sixteen, the pitcher. We're going to take Cattle Prod off here, and uh, and we'll bring in someone who has actually seen uh, pitching uh, before. Veronica Hammock or Steve Morey. I'm going to give Steve Morey the opportunity to be uh, the hero of the revolution. That's ball one. That's ball two. That was a ball as well, but he went for it anyway. Strike one. That's ball three. And he managed to get it away, but it could be a double play. It's not a double play. We got it out there. Uh, the runner to second was taken taken out and, and uh, shot, I suppose. Uh, but we still managed to get a man on bat. Last out, and it's failure at bat. The spiritual leader of this team. Ball two. And that's the stuff, straight up to centre field, and that's runners now on first and second. It's not going to be enough, though. We're going to have to get uh, get some action going, and Lee Hu, uh, looking for redemption, is, uh, is at bat. The game on the line. Oh, Lee, what did you do? Well, that's the second loss in a row for Bulldozer Power, and, uh, and everyone is disappointed at that uh, as the uh, as the Eagles uh, well they wrap it up in, in frankly two innings the first and the seventh inning they got the job done uh, with uh, with 19 hits and, uh, and 11 runs um, not a great performance from any of the bulldozer power players and uh, there'll be a lot of introspection uh, come Monday mornings uh, film time and whatever else you do when you're coaching So your three stars for today are Ben Burr, Boo, Ninja Pumpkin, yay, and uh, and Withers Lowbrow, uh, but uh, but there won't be much celebration going on in the locker room uh, this evening. So that drops Bulldozer Power to five and two, but we do have some matches to uh, uh, to simulate before we can go any further. We've got ten games coming up, and uh, here they come. It's the Excavators versus the Raptors, and uh, the Excavators are up 10 to 8 at the end of the game. Swingers against the Nomads. Uh, nomads with some early scoring, but the Swingers hit back hard uh, to take this one in the, in the ninth inning, 11 to 8. Uh, the Aardvarks on the Champions. Uh, this one looks close, but it's not. The Aardvarks win. Here's the Explosives versus the Ocelots. Uh, the Ocelots do the damage, come away with the win. Uh, fruit Bats against the Pirates. Uh, it's all Fruit Bat traffic in that one. The Monty Express against the Leprechauns, and uh, Monty has uh, taken the victory. Here's the Excavators against the Brown Sox. Uh, the Brown Sox having a terrible season so far, and it shows no sign of changing. Uh, here's the Nomads against the Eagles, and the Nomads are, uh, well, they've, they've just murdered the Eagles. Um, well, a late surge from the Eagles couldn't bring them back. Uh, the Swingers versus the Ocelots, two of the big hitting teams in the game, and uh, it all goes Swingers' way, 11-2. Aardvarks on the Dodgers, and uh, this one's neck and neck all the way to the final inning where the Aardvarks take it. Uh, with the standings now updated, uh, six and one are Monty Express, uh, the team with the best record so far. The Ocelots and Swingers are both sat on six and two, making the Tree Gun division look pretty intimidating. Uh, meanwhile, in tactical, uh, Bulldozer Power is still ahead, but only just. Uh, if they uh, lose their next game, then they're then tied uh, with the Excavators, with the run difference being the only thing to separate the two teams. Uh, the Fruit Bats are leading Bombastic, and uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be thoroughly interesting to see what happens in the next game when Bulldozer Power will be taking on the Regal Raptors, who are having a pretty good season so far. Uh, the star players Dono, Vectrix, and Butler uh, to watch there with Jesse Velocidad, who will be leading off the pitching. Uh, I hope to see you then. 
please subscribe to ensure that you've got your season ticket. I've been Colonel Failure. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio.